Epicurus was an ancient Greek philosopher, best known for founding the philosophical school of thought known as Epicureanism. He was born in the year 341 BC on the island of Samos, which is located in the Aegean Sea. Epicurus's philosophy focused on the pursuit of happiness, emphasizing the importance of pleasure as the highest good, and argued that the removal of pain and fear was essential for a fulfilling life. His teachings would go on to influence a wide range of philosophical and ethical thought, particularly in the Hellenistic period, and continue to resonate with thinkers and individuals today. Epicurus's letter to Menecius is one of his most important works. In this letter, he outlines the key aspects of his philosophy, addressing fundamental questions about the nature of happiness, the human condition, and how one should live a good life. The letter is addressed to Menecius, who was likely a follower or disciple of Epicurus, and is intended as a guide for living in accordance with Epicurean principles. It serves as both an introduction to Epicurus's philosophy and a practical manual for achieving tranquility and pleasure through the elimination of fear and pain. Epicurus argues in the letter to Menecius that the ultimate goal of life is to achieve pleasure and avoid pain. However, he emphasizes that pleasure should be understood not in the sense of indulgence or excess, but as a state of tranquility and freedom from suffering. According to Epicurus, the greatest source of human misery is fear, particularly the fear of the gods and the fear of death. He believed that by understanding the natural world and the workings of the universe, individuals could eliminate these fears and achieve a peaceful and pleasurable existence. One of the key points that Epicurus makes in the letter to Menecius is that the fear of the gods is irrational and unfounded. He argued that the gods, if they exist, are indifferent to human affairs and do not interfere in the lives of individuals. In Epicurus's view, the gods are immortal and blessed, and they do not concern themselves with the trivial matters of human life. Therefore, the fear of divine punishment or retribution is unnecessary and unhelpful in the pursuit of happiness. By removing this fear, individuals can free themselves from one of the major sources of anxiety and suffering. Epicurus also addresses the fear of death in the letter to Menecius. He argues that death is not to be feared because, once an individual has died, they no longer exist. In his famous statement, death is nothing to us, he asserts that when we are alive, death is not present, and when death comes, we no longer exist to experience it. Therefore, there is no reason to fear death, as it is simply the end of consciousness. This idea is central to Epicurean thought, as it encourages individuals to focus on the pleasures of life rather than worrying about an inevitable and unknown fate. In addition to addressing the fear of the gods and the fear of death, Epicurus discusses the importance of understanding the natural world and the principles of science. He believes that knowledge of nature is essential for dispelling the irrational fears and misconceptions that lead to suffering. Epicurus was a proponent of atomism, the idea that everything in the universe is made up of small, indivisible particles called atoms. According to this theory, all phenomena, including the human soul, can be explained by the movements and interactions of atoms. By studying nature and the workings of the physical world, individuals can understand the true causes of events and phenomena, and thus, free themselves from irrational fears. Epicurus's philosophy also advocates for the cultivation of simple pleasures and the avoidance of unnecessary desires. In the letter to Menecius, he explains that not all pleasures are equally valuable, and that the pursuit of wisdom, friendship, and self-sufficiency is far more important than the pursuit of material wealth or sensual indulgence. For Epicurus, the pleasures that lead to a tranquil life are those that are natural and necessary, such as food, drink, and companionship. Excessive or artificial desires, such as the desire for power, fame, or luxury, are seen as sources of pain and dissatisfaction, as they lead to anxiety and the fear of loss. A key aspect of Epicurus's ethics is the emphasis on friendship as one of the greatest sources of pleasure and happiness. In the letter to Menecius, he argues that true friends are essential to a life of happiness and tranquility, as they provide emotional support and contribute to the peacefulness of one's soul. Epicurus believed that the bonds of friendship were an important part of the natural order and that relationships based on mutual respect and affection are a source of lasting joy. He viewed friendships as more valuable than material wealth or personal achievements, as they offer the kind of pleasure that is both fulfilling and enduring. Epicurus also discusses the role of self-sufficiency in achieving a pleasurable life. According to him, 
Self-sufficiency is essential for reducing dependence on external sources of pleasure and avoiding the stress and anxiety that come from pursuing unnecessary desires. By being content with simple, natural pleasures and not relying on wealth or luxury, individuals can attain a sense of inner peace and freedom from worry. Self-sufficiency, in Epicurus's view, is closely tied to the cultivation of wisdom, as it involves learning to live in harmony with nature and understanding the limits of one's desires. In the letter to Menecius, Epicurus encourages Menecius to begin practicing his philosophy as early as possible, as the pursuit of wisdom and happiness is a lifelong process. He advises that one should focus on the present moment and cultivate a mindset that prioritizes pleasure and tranquility over fear and anxiety. Epicurus stresses that while physical pleasure is important, mental pleasure, such as the pleasure derived from knowledge, friendship, and inner peace, is even more crucial for a fulfilling life. By eliminating the fears that plague the human mind and by embracing a life of wisdom and moderation, individuals can achieve a state of eudaimonia, or human flourishing. Epicurus also emphasizes the importance of living a life free from pain, both physical and mental. He encourages individuals to avoid unnecessary suffering by making wise choices and by seeking out activities and relationships that bring lasting joy and satisfaction. The avoidance of pain, for Epicurus, is not about indulging in hedonistic excess, but rather about creating a balanced life in which desires are controlled, and peace of mind is prioritized. This idea is central to Epicureanism, which teaches that the elimination of pain and fear is key to achieving happiness. Throughout the letter to Menecius, Epicurus presents a vision of life that is deeply rooted in reason and naturalism. His philosophy is grounded in the idea that happiness can be achieved through the removal of irrational fears and the cultivation of simple pleasures. By living in accordance with nature, seeking knowledge, and cultivating meaningful relationships, individuals can achieve a state of tranquility and contentment. Epicurus's emphasis on the importance of pleasure, friendship, and self-sufficiency continues to resonate with modern readers, offering a timeless guide to living a good and fulfilling life. In conclusion, Epicurus's letter to Menecius is a central text in the history of philosophy, offering a clear and practical guide to achieving happiness and tranquility. Through his emphasis on the elimination of fear, the pursuit of simple pleasures, and the cultivation of wisdom and friendship, Epicurus presents a vision of life that prioritizes peace of mind and the avoidance of unnecessary suffering. His teachings have had a lasting impact on ethical thought, and the letter to Menecius remains an important work for anyone seeking to understand the nature of happiness and how to live a fulfilling life. 